Hey guys, welcome to Diva Talk tonight. I'm your host, Kelda Music. And well, tonight we have more of a serious episode for you, but it's still interesting as usual. Because <laughs> the Diva said so. And uh, go Warriors. You're watching Diva Talk tonight! the music and we are here on diva talk tonight and as usual i always have an entertaining special panel of guests for you <laughs> right here on my right i have uh educator community leader and youth mentor diamond the solid one <laughs> Woo! yes yes that's right and yes in the middle here i have hip-hop recording artist mike fish everyone give it up for mike fish yeah yeah all right and then on my very far, far, far right, I have youth mentor, Kat. Kat, how are you doing? All right. You know, we always talk about certain things that are real touchy and that may, I don't know, I don't know, that may affect people, right? But that's what this show's for. So I'm going to get straight to the point and I want to talk about something that everyone should be discussing. Police brutality. Let's talk about that. Diamond, what are your thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts are that it's inappropriate and unacceptable. Mm -hmm. And that police or anybody who kill, murder, and harm others should be penalized um, based on our laws. And I see that a lot of police are getting away with murder. And um, I think wearing a badge should make you more accountable, not less. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mike, what, what's your take on police brutality, you know, or what defines police brutality in your eyes? Um, my take on it is that it sucks. Um, mm -hmm. What defines it in my eyes is unfairness, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just somebody that's a hothead mm -hmm. that maybe they're trying to make up for something that they lack in their life mm -hmm. by Personal. trying to pick on somebody else because mm -hmm. they have a, you know, they have a badge and a gun, you know, mm -hmm. right and, on. you know. I mean, I knew a couple of those kinds of guys in high school. I don't know if everybody else has, but mm -hmm. they're usually the ones with issues, you know? And mm -hmm. Not every cop's like that, but um, yeah, so those ones that ruin it, you know? Mm -hmm. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. And how about you, Kat? What do you think right now? There's people? some that can just take it to the next level. You just have to, mm -hmm. you know, look at it as a, um, to stay level with, situations like that but um, we don't know no one doesn't know what you're dealing with when you're in a situation mm -hmm. but there is limits to certain things and yeah it, it shouldn't even happen yeah no it really shouldn't now with that being said have you guys I don't know do you know anyone who's a victim of police brutality or you know have you been involved in a situation yourself that involved police brutality any of you guys um, what about I, you, Mike? It's kind of offbeat, but I grew up skateboarding. Mm -hmm. And as a youngster, as a skater, we would get harassed by the police all the time for skating on private property. And one time a cop did, like, grab me by the neck and slam me on, his, on the hood of his car and wow. arrest me and all that. And, and you didn't do anything okay. wrong in the first place. To be honest, like, I was talking about skating on private property. I was skating on public property. I was skating on the sidewalk. Wow. Yeah, so he just so. decided to... Flex his authority, yeah. and I wasn't letting him get away with it as a young punk like mm -hmm. I was. Mm -hmm. And, yeah, so he took that as disorderly conduct and did whatever, whatever he wanted, you know. Mm -hmm. So, Kat, um, with your situation, I remember you came into, a, I guess, a little problem with the police when, um, what was it, you had, like, tinted windows, and he knocked on your door and kind of, what, questioned you about it, or? Yeah, he was, I had front, my windows, my front windows tinted, so he yeah. was telling me that. Did you know? I said yes. Yeah. So, but it was more profile because I was in a town that uh -huh. my type of car wouldn't be expected. What to type be. of car did you have? I have an Acura Integra and it's lowered. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. it, I was on my lunch break. I worked in the area, but I didn't seem like I fit. So, so he profiled the car first and then said, okay, let's check right. the things in here. Ah, 
okay. Mm -hmm. So you don't belong here. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is crazy. Yeah. And, and Diamond, like right now, when it comes to having two African-American sons in today's society, how do you feel about them, you know, living in, you know, in today's society and being surrounded by police that are like that? Um, having two black boys actually worries me all the time, pretty much day in and day out. Whenever mm -hmm. they're not at home, I'm worried about them. I'm wondering, you know, if they're being harassed or abused or racial profiled. And in the wake of Oscar Grant leading up to Trayvon Martin and Mike Brown, it's, it's mm -hmm. really scary being a parent of a child that's of African American or any person of color, you're out there in the street and you don't really know what's going on. And it mm -hmm. seems like there is something systematically wrong with police these days. Like maybe they're being hired um, mm -hmm. in a certain way to where their idea, their ideas and their, their bias are, mm -hmm. are prevalent and it's showing in the way they interact with the community. So Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I definitely agree with that. And um, Mike, um, do you think that you know or or i want to ask you is there a difference between like a, a white cop and a black cop do they treat you differently or um i think that uh it's up to the individual uh -huh. like um it could be a white cop could be a black cop could be an asian cop hispanic cop whatever but it's how they feel as an individual i'm kind of i'm, I'm kind of under the assumption myself like mm -hmm. not to categorize people under race you know and that includes cops you know because yeah. Just because like one cop might treat me a certain way doesn't mean that every cop of his race is gonna treat me that way. Right, you know, right. Or right. treat anybody that way. So And it's a shame that they don't think the same way. They think they don't look at us individually. Mm hmm But everybody's kinda in the same group, the same category a little bit. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well yeah, there's a lot of idiot cops out there for sure. Right, right, right. Okay, you guys. Well I just wanted to have that little talk and uh, kind of, you know, touch on that a little bit because I think the public needs to know and understand um, other people's views. So just to change it up a little bit, just to spicing up things, um, I have the glove of truth. woo -hoo! The glove of truth. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give it to, do, 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 do. let's give it a mic. <laughs> let's give it a mic. Do I All gotta right, wear it? Do I, do I need to wear it? You have to wear it. Okay, I'll wear it. And you'll have to tell the truth about this question I'm gonna ask you here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, I'm ready. All yeah, right, here we go. Here we go. All right. <laughs> okay. I'm about to Michael Jackson right now. All right, go ahead. All right. <laughs> I'm ready. Just beat it. Beat the, beat the beat end it. here. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Have you ever pulled a booger out of your nose and wiped it on someone's car seat? <laughs> Think about it. And I don't mean when you're a kid. I don't mean when you're... You know, Just ever. Your mom's best friend's car who you hate. You know? I mean, I've wiped boogers a lot of places. Oh. And I bet I've wiped one on the car seat. I just, I can't remember, you know, off the top of my head. So it was probably yesterday, huh? It might have been yesterday, yeah. It could have been an Acura. It could have been a Porsche. I don't discriminate, you know. So it was cat cars, is that what you were saying? Oh, it was cat. That, that, oh, yeah. Was? I was hitchhiking. Uh, now I remember you. So. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was for later. Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anything else? All right. Well, just to wrap things up here, um, if you guys don't mind going one by one, um, reintroducing yourselves, and giving a shout out, and what your uh, Twitter is here, uh, where people can reach you. Diamond, how about you? Cool. My name is Diamond, the Silent One. You can reach me on Twitter at SheCold. S H E C O L D. Thank you. Shouts out to everybody out there. And oh, and go Warriors. Woo woo. Go Warriors. Oakland. Go Warriors. Dub Nation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, how about you? My name is Mike Fish, the infamous. Um, I'm a hip hop artist, MC slash producer. You can find me on mindscapeog.com. You can find me on Instagram, mindscape underscore productions. Also, Fish Daddy Lover with the A Fish Daddy on Lover. Twitter, and Mindscape Productions on Facebook, and Mike Fish on Facebook. All right, and how about you, Kat? Uh, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't have any Twitter or Instagram, but um, if you need to reach out to me, I'm Catherine, aka Kat, through Kelda. Yes, and I will be her spokesperson. 
So in case you need to reach out to her, contact me, as I am trying to become an agent as well and represent other clients in the industry. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks so much for watching Diva Talk tonight. We have some cool guests coming up next. And uh, peace out. Peace. Hello, darling. Hello. My friendly, beautiful darling, Raylan, how are you? Splendid. Splendid, I like that. Splendid, stupendous, magnificent, it's all the same, right? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> how about those warriors? They're pretty, they're doing pretty good, huh? I don't want to jinx. Okay. All right. I'll be at the game, you'll be at the game? I'm a cheerleader. Oh. So you will be at the game, yes. <laughs> Behind the scenes and everything. Oh, so, well, that's good. Yeah. Um, okay, great, all right. Well, um, you know, we have a very sexy guest today. He's an R&B singer, R&B singer, songwriter, right? Have you, have you heard of Raphael? Raphael yes, Mendes. I believe he uh, likes to knit, too. He likes to knit? Yeah. I heard he, he likes Ninja Turtles. Or wasn't he one of the Ninja Turtles? Oh, or no? uh, yes. Oh. And he likes pizza. And he likes pizza. Okay. With cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys. I have R&B singer Raphael Andrews. Come, come, come. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, yeah, I hope you didn't mind all the foolishness. <laughs> of course <laughs> not. I love it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, welcome to Diva Talk tonight, dude. How are you? I'm awesome. You are awesome. I'm awesome. Awesome. Can you do that in an English accent? Awesome. Hmm. I haven't perfected it. I'm awesome. Okay. Awesome. 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 Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. Sort of. <laughs> awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, great. Well, I'm glad to have you on the show. Oh, you guys um, are gorgeous. Really? Yeah. I know I do. Shoo. <laughs> 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 we got good makeup artists. Yes, yes. Hair people. Oh, yes, exactly. And she's just Don't be jealous. Tremendous. <laughs> stupendous job, okay? <laughs> So, uh, Raphael, we just wanted to talk to you briefly, you know. So, you know, tell us a little, about, uh, a little bit about yourself. We know you're a R&B singer, or you said r and bass singer. r and bass. It's like a subgenre of R&B, you know, just something that's expanding within the mm -hmm. times of music. Mm -hmm. That's what they're calling it these days, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. It basically, I started like last year, what they were calling um, the genre, and I'm just a part of it yeah, right now, I oh, guess. Developing it, okay, all right. So I was just reading some information on you, and uh, so you, what, you opened up for Chris Brown and Trey Songz, or you Yeah, did recently in, in March, in, uh, I, in Columbus, Ohio, I opened up for wow. Trey Songz and Chris Brown. It was uh -huh. for the dates that Chris Brown could make. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, really? I was, oh, really? Yeah, it, they didn't know if it was gonna go on, so they had booked me, and I went out there, and I was like, uh, uh -huh. I was like, if they don't perform, I'll still perform. Right. <laughs> so that perform? many people. <laughs> Wait, so now did they show up, you said, or no? Yeah, they showed up. They showed up. It so was dope. Yeah. So did you meet them both? I met them both, yeah. You did, okay. Yeah. So how's it like meeting Chris Brown? Like, he's, I mean, he's a handsome, nice guy, right? Or uh, well, I, I don't know about the first one. <laughs> 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 no, he, he was cool. He's handsome. You know he's handsome. Okay. He's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Him and Trey, they were, like, really down to earth and, and yeah. cool, like, uh-huh. Yeah. I thought, you know, you always hear different things, but you know, mm -hmm. never fall into the propaganda though. Right, that's right. Okay. And what venue did you guys perform at? Was it like I forgot the, the Oracle name of out the, here? It, it was like, like their theater or? in Columbus, their main theater in Columbus. Oh. It was it was so many I had never performed in front of that many people. How many people did you perform in front of? Uh. What like 10,000, Yeah, 20, like a little up in the 20,000. Like oh I looked out and I peed a little. I was like, goodness. I was <laughs> like, you peed a little I was like, get rid of it. I was like, oh. Yeah. So, TMI. <laughs> so he was performing with a wet spot. Yeah. yeah. They, didn't, they didn't say I, I, I did a quick switch up. I had like four or five different wardrobes, man. It was going on. You ain't cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> really? So, Raylan, yes. you've peed your pants before? I'm right now. Right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> I think you're making him pee in his pants right Admitting now. Admitting the guilt. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, my I'm God. Not, I'm not that nasty. So, um, Raphael, who are you signed to right now? Or are you on a label at all? I'm currently independent? independent right now, but I'm a part of a pr production conglomerate called Track Nation. Track Nation. Yes, I've heard of Track of, Nation. Okay. Out of, yeah. out of the Bay Area, yeah. yeah. Oh, like the Nation of Stars in <laughs> Track. <laughs> Track Nation. <laughs> <laughs> don't they wow. do this little thing? Yeah. Oh, we don't have. We have a. We have a cool <laughs> handshake. Then we got rid of it. Like it was. That's your Can new you guys like do the handshake real quick? I know. You know what I mean? Like the. <laughs> I, I know you guys can do it. Just cut.
come together, right? Whoa. That is so weird. Whoa. Right now. Over me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I'm not a singer like you. Ma as a matter of fact, why don't you give us a sample? Please. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Just a tad bit. You ready? Yeah. And make it longer than a tad bit now. Just a tad bit? Yeah. You got to oh, give him a, a sample. Long, a long tad. A tad long tad. Trying to save myself from myself. Smiling through pain is the hardest thing I've ever felt. And getting over love. Oh, so you got to I was, that was, was just a tad bit. <laughs> was that off beat or something? What happened? <laughs> Not the next I was like, <laughs> she had to clap and I was like. <laughs> like, oh, oh that's because it. I enjoyed it so much. Oh, thank We're you. We're feeling it. You, you had it. I saw you have it. You were like up well, there and then towards the end it start. It came tumbling down. I won't judge of, you though. Really? I won't judge we you We all have all. those moments, right? Where, you know, we have our. Highs and lows. And oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've well, I'm, you know, I just, neither one I can't sing. Anymore, <laughs> so, you know, I'm not you. <laughs> <laughs> so who are some of the artists that you've collaborated with around here in the Bay Area? Oh, in the Bay, in the Bay Area, I've collaborated with a little bit of everybody that's been mm -hmm. in local or have came up. There was a time mm -hmm. probably about four years ago when I went into a local record store. People were actually purchasing CDs. <laughs> right, right. And who was it, Rasputin's or? It was Rasputin okay. and it was Amoeba. And um, mm -hmm. and like, I remember looking at the local list and seeing my name featured mm -hmm. on like almost every CD that was on there as someone that was singing a hook or something or even contributed to j the song or as a feature, as a verse or something. It was oh, nice. That How was do you dope. feel when you see that? Like That was like, like I feel oh like, my gosh. A, I was like, I was, it was amazing. During that time, it was, it, I was, I would say hustling my voice, like, because I, I felt like, um, I didn't know I could get paid for people to hear my voice. I was like, oh my God, you'll pay me for something that I do naturally, like, right. like something it was that you dope. have a passion a, for? Definitely a dope experience. Then the shows came and, uh -huh. and it was dope. So you, you do shows continuously here in the Bay Area or, or, or well, you said you had one obviously in uh, Columbus. So yeah. any other regions? Yeah, I've done shows like uh, along the West Coast region also. Uh -huh. Furthest uh, show I've ever done is probably in uh, Atlanta. I've done shows. In, no, no. Furthest show I ever did was in Puerto Rico. Ooh. Yeah, oh, for, Puerto yeah Rico. I, did a, I did a show in, in Puerto Rico. Yeah. Nice. In the main city. That was Oh, my dope. gosh. You know, they do a lot of uh, R&B and hip-hop concerts out that way. Yeah, people don't even know. Yeah, they do. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it was dope. That was a dope experience in Hawaii. Oahu. Oh, in, oh, out in Oahu. That was dope. That's where I'm from. Oh yeah, she's Hawaiian. She ain't rapping that, though. Look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hang 10. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow. wow. So, I guess, at what age did you start? Nine. At nine? Okay. Nine. I was forced. Okay. You know, you, you always have those those aunts or somebody in the family yeah. that's uh, <laughs> like, oh, you're going to be in the choir. Oh, you're right. going to be in the choir. I'm like, no. I was like <laughs> way in the back. Up. I didn't want to sing. <laughs> and then I got comfortable with it. I was like, oh, my God, I'm kind of good. Uh -huh. I was like, I need a solo. Oh, <laughs> oh my Never gosh. got a solo. I dropped out of the choir. Loves me, you know, <laughs> with my solo. <laughs> So, and then when did you start taking it seriously to where you... High school. Okay. High school, definitely I started okay. taking it serious. Because it, it, it started off as a, mm -hmm. something to allure women. Because mm -hmm. I found out that it was cool. Like, I found out, like, guys are like, oh, boo, that's soft. And mm -hmm. that's... Uh, I was like, dude. And then women like, oh, my God, you can sing. I used to actually sing my phone number to women. I, okay, sing it. Go <laughs> it ahead. Was like, Go I, I don't remember it. I don't remember my old one. But I used to actually <laughs> sing it to... Women and I think she wants your phone number. That's no. what she's trying I to. I love you yeah. on the under. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> after show. <laughs> after, right, after oh after my show. gosh. Meet me at the hotel later. <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Okay. But yeah, that's what it started off as. Uh -huh. Something like that. Then it just carried on into adult years, and mm -hmm. I I and realized that I can make money off of this, and mm -hmm. and it's something that I always love. I, I'm really a, a I grew up as I could say a record player baby. A record I, player, I, baby, okay. In, in, uh -huh. a, in an age where a lot of people don't really understand or appreciate music. Like, I, I have mm -hmm. one of the benefits of, mm -hmm. of definitely appreciating music. I grew up in the end of the 80s and the beginning of the 90s where R&B was dope. Like, mm -hmm. like, some of the dopest people, like, 
like one of my inspirations, like is, is Donnell Jones. Like he's oh, one of my Donnell favorite singers. And he's a slept on Chicago singer. <laughs> <laughs> what, and R. Kells, of course. Yeah, of course, yeah, Kells. yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. Yeah, and, and that's just how it is. You know what I mean? Um, for me, at being even a recording artist and yeah. listening to other artists, I've you know I grew up on what Queen Latifah, MC Light, Yo Yo, Yo, <laughs> Yo, don't play with my Yo Yo, Yo, Yo. yo. What yo. was she talking about in that song? I, what was she you, talking about? I don't about? know. You tell me. What, don't play with, what do you uh, get out of the idea of when you hear? Toy. Don't play with my Yo Yo. It's a toy. It was probably her favorite toy. <laughs> it was definitely a toy. <laughs> it was definitely. I, a toy. I feel her. I feel her. Don't touch my stuff. <laughs> Wait, what stuff are we talking about? What stuff? Oh, what? Wait, oh, You're yo oh, okay, okay. You know what? Together, Both of you guys are just a bunch of yo yo's anyway. <laughs> okay? I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I have nothing to say. All right. And you know what? Since you are my guest today, mm -hmm. we have a little thing called the Glove of Truth. Da -da -da -da. So, she like placing evidence over here. <laughs> <laughs> they finally found yes. it. Yes. OJ's the accomplice. Glove of truth. The Glove of Truth. <laughs> my question to you is. And this is a question that you have to answer. Yes. Oh, you have to put on the glove, by I, the way. Oh, okay. Oh, if you yes. don't put on the glove, then you know you can't, you can't tell answer. the truth. And yeah. oh, we need you to tell the truth. It's snug. It's real tight getting in it's there. It's Michael Jackson tight. It's real tight it's getting defeated. in there. You know what I mean? That's I'm almost in there. <laughs> Wait, I, earlier I saw you do the moonwalk. Oh, yeah. <sighs> you were doing some kind of like weird body thing. I had, uh, you, you know, the... Music was, it was bumping and stuff. I had the, the rhythm. I was, oh, shoot, it fits. And it fits. Does there that mean go. I shot him? You know you <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that means you did. Guilty. I can keep this. She is pissed. Well, I guess afterwards, okay. yes. You, what? you guys have other gloves? No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. You I just won't have take to buy some new ones. So. You know, Raphael, the question that I have for you is, mm -hmm. and I want you to answer the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you, says Diva Talk tonight. Oh, is it the right hand? <laughs> <laughs> you guys got the wrong glove there. If it's the right hand. <laughs> Have you ever ditched a girl on the first date or just any date that you've been on? After making sweet love? Oh, uh, well, I get before. Just ditched her? Or, yeah, before. Or after, in general. Where you're like, okay, I met her. She Maybe mm. she doesn't like her, her, her profile picture. And you're like, I got to go. <laughs> oh, man. Have I been, uh, what's that called? Catfished? Catfish, but mm. more like you weren't feeling her once you saw her just because, oh, yeah. you know, I don't know, maybe her personality was nasty or... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know um, I mean? And you just kind of just... I yeah. actually, there was a, a, a... I went out with this chick. Um, we talked for a while, and it was an online thing, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. Went out uh, one day, and, um, and she was cool, but um, in person, her voice was, like, screechy, like, oh, like... like it was like, but it was, and her laugh killed it. Her laugh killed the entire situation for How me. Was I was her laugh? <laughs> 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 that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Raphael. Yeah, that's Raphael. Yeah, that's Raphael. Welcome. <laughs> oh, I won't judge her. <laughs> but yeah, it was a total like turn off. I was like, I was like, I, you know, some things you'll put up with. She was bad too, though. She was bad. Mm -hmm. She wasn't. Mm -hmm. She wasn't she fugly at all. You know what I mean? right. And you are. You're doing it. You know I'm trying I mean? to get there. Um, what advice would you like to give to young singers out there or aspiring entertainers who want to get in the business? Be you, but know what's going on. But um, stay relevant. You don't ever have to um, conform or do anything that um, other people are doing to, to feel like you're going to um, blow up because someone is following trends and stuff. Set your own, but at the same time, know what's going on and blend it. All right. Okay. And um, give a shout out your Twitter, your website. My Twitter, my Google, my Snapchat. YouTube. Snapchat. Um, everything is um. Instagram. -y. Well, my Snapchat is a little different. That's a little oh, private that's a little right personal. there. <laughs> but um, my everything, my Instagram is uh, Raphael Andrews. That's R A P H E L L E A N D R E W S. That's everything. Twitter, Instagram. Find me. I holler and I holler Don't back. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. DM right. me if you're cute. <laughs> well, Raylin already did that. So. Oh. I did not. So she had to wait till today. Don't make his head any bigger. Oh. So. That's Bay right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's new Bay. That is Bay. That's the Bay of the That's Week. Bay. That's, <laughs> right, there you go. Wild Crush Wednesdays, is it? Or? Yes. 
<laughs> Wild Crush Wednesday? Isn't it what the WCW? Is that what it is? Yeah. I thought that was a I got something channel. trending on mine. I have White Crush Wednesday as well. Oh, shoot. Yeah. On that note, <laughs> we are going to go. Thank you so much. Thank Everyone, you give for having me. Applause for Rafael Andrews. Hey! We are going to talk tonight. Thank you. Raylan? Yes, darling. I have a question. What's up? What if you could change your ethnicity? That'd be pretty awesome. Really? Yeah, it'd be fun. Maybe we could see what we could come up with. Yeah, like that. Wow. Wow. How do you feel? I kind of like it. I'm feeling this. I kind of like it too. I'm feeling this. <laughs> I guess I could live with it. <laughs> wow. What if we could change our gender? Hey, Ray Lynn. What up? This feels kind of cool. Man, not bad. Except for I, I'm missing something. I ain't got that yet. But everything else is cool. Word to your mother. Peace. <laughs>